War is constantly evolving, and military engineers must come up with more and more effective solutions to support soldiers on the battlefield. But how far have they pushed the boundaries? What are the largest military engineering feats in the world? Well, today we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 biggest military vehicles in the world. From colossal warships to giant tanks, one thing is certain, you wouldn't want to face these machines. Which military vehicle do you think is the largest on Earth? Type it in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Thanks for your support, and now, let's dive deep into the world of military engineering with the first vehicle on our list. Number 10. Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers. The Gerald R. Ford class represent a significant advancement in naval engineering for the United States Navy. Designed to replace the aging Nimitz-class carriers, these new ships incorporate cutting-edge technologies aimed at enhancing efficiency and reducing operating costs. The first ship of this class, the U.S. says Gerald R. Ford, was commissioned on July 22, 2017. It features innovations like the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which replaces the traditional steam catapults and other modern design elements that allow for a smaller crew. Named after President Gerald R. Ford, this class is expected to eventually include 10 carriers, with the second ship, the USS John F. Kennedy, set to join the fleet in 2025. These carriers are a key component in maintaining the Navy's operational capabilities, reflecting ongoing advancements in military technology. Number 9. M1A2 Abrams The M1A2 Abrams is a powerful main battle tank used by the U.S. Army, weighing approximately 68 tons. It is renowned for its robust armor, impressive firepower, and high mobility. The tank is equipped with a 120 mm smooth bore gun, capable of firing a variety of ammunition to effectively engage armored targets. Its advanced features include thermal imaging, computerized fire control systems, and reactive armor, which enhance its battlefield survivability. Introduced in 1990, the M1A2 Abrams is an advanced iteration of the M1A1, incorporating significant technological upgrades. Externally, it resembles the M1A1 but has notable changes such as a redesigned commander's weapon station and a commander's independent thermal viewer mounted on the turret. Internally, the M1A2 benefits from a complete redesign to integrate modern technology, making it one of the most advanced tanks in service today. Number 8. C5M Super Galaxy the C-5M Super Galaxy is the largest aircraft in the U.S. Air Force's inventory, designed for strategic transport missions involving cargo and personnel. This modernized version of the classic C-5, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, includes several upgrades for improved performance. The Air Force currently operates 52 of these aircraft, stationed at bases such as Dover Air Force Base in Delaware and Travis AFB in California. The C-5M is equipped with five sets of landing gear, 28 wheels and four General Electric CF680C2L1F engines, enabling it to carry massive loads over long distances. It features dual nose and aft doors, allowing simultaneous loading and unloading, and full-width drive-on ramps for transporting double rows of vehicles. The aircraft can handle a cargo load of up to 281,001 pounds, and has a range of 2,150 nautical miles without aerial refueling. With refueling, its range extends as far as crew endurance allows. Number 7. Typhoon-class submarine The Typhoon-class, known in the Soviet Union as Project 941 Akula and NATO reported as Typhoon, was a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines built by the Soviet Union. With a submerged displacement of 48,000 tons, the Typhoons were the largest submarines ever constructed, designed to house a crew of 160 comfortably for extended underwater missions. The name Typhoon might be linked to a 1974 speech by Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev, where he used the term while discussing new submarine developments, possibly in response to the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class submarines. By March 2012, Russia decided against modernizing the Typhoon class, finding it more cost-effective to build new Beret-class submarines. 
Three Typhoons were decommissioned in the 1990s and scrapped in the 2000s, while another two remained inactive after their decommissioning during the 2000s. Number 6. Mil Mi 26. The Mil Mi 26, NATO codename Halo, is a heavy lift twin engine helicopter developed by the Soviet Union and later by Russia. It was introduced into Soviet service in 1983 and remains the heaviest helicopter ever produced. With its distinctive eight blade rotor, the MI 26 is known for its massive lifting capacity and was informally nicknamed Korova or Siraj during the Soviet era. As of 2024, the MI-26 continues to serve both civilian and military roles in various countries and organizations. In 2021, the helicopter was still active, showcasing its enduring relevance. Russian Helicopters has announced plans to resume production of the latest variant, the MI-26 T-2V, starting in 2022, reflecting ongoing interest in updates in this remarkable aircraft. Number 5. Type 055 Destroyer The Type 055, also known by its NATO JOSD designation, Renhai Class Cruiser, is a class of stealth-guided missile destroyers built for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy. Designed with a multi-mission capability, the Type 055 excels in area air defense and anti-submarine warfare, surpassing earlier Chinese surface combatants in both areas. These destroyers are intended for blue water operations and serve as the primary escorts for Chinese aircraft carriers. While NATO refers to them as destroyers, the United States Navy classifies them as cruisers due to their large size and multi-role capabilities, akin to the U.S. Navy's Ticonderoga-class cruisers. The Type 055's advanced sensors and weapon systems make it a crucial component of China's naval strategy. Number 4. K-2 Black Panther the K-2 Black Panther is a third-generation main battle tank developed and manufactured by Hyundai Rotem for the Republic of Korea Army and the Polish Army. With a unit cost of $8.5 million, the K-2 represents a significant upgrade over the older K-1A1 tank and is gradually replacing the M48 Patton in Roca service. The K-2 features advanced firepower, protection, and mobility. Its development, which began in 1995 with a budget of $230 million, aimed to integrate cutting-edge South Korean technologies. The basic design was completed by 2006, and production of three prototype tanks commenced in 2007 for Roca trials. Production was initially delayed due to issues with an indigenous engine, leading to an audit in 2012 that uncovered discrepancies in Defense Acquisition Program administration reports. Number 3. Xian Y-20 The Xian Y-20, also known by its official codename Kunpeng and nicknamed Chubby Girl, is a four-engine high-wing strategic transport aircraft developed by Xian Aircraft Industrial Corporation. The development of the Y-20 began in 2006, and it officially entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force on July 6, 2016. The aircraft is designed for large cargo loads and is significantly more spacious than previous Chinese transport models. The Y-20 has a distinctive wide fuselage, contributing to its nickname, and is expected to see a total of around 100 units ordered. As of November 2020, the first Y-20B variant was reported to have flown, featuring new Shenyang WS-20 engines, replacing the older Russian D-30KP-2 engines and an updated vertical stabilizer reflector to improve in-flight refueling operations. Number 2. Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion The King Stallion, also known as the Sikorsky S-95, is a heavy transport helicopter developed by Sikorsky Aircraft. As the latest evolution of the CH-53 series, which has been in service since 1966, the CH-53K incorporates several upgrades including three powerful engines, each producing 7,500 shaft horsepower, new composite rotor blades, and a larger cabin for improved cargo capacity. The King Stallion is the largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military, designed to meet demanding transport needs. The U.S. Marine Corps has planned to acquire 200 units at a total cost of $25 billion. Testing for the CH-53K began with ground test vehicle evaluations in April 2014, followed by its maiden flight on October 27, 2015. 
The first CH-53K was delivered to the Marine Corps in May 2018, and it achieved initial operational capability on April 22, 2022. Number 1. Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. The Nimitz class comprises 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers serving with the United States Navy, named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. These carriers are among the largest warships ever built. With an overall length of 1,092 feet and a full load displacement exceeding 100,000 long tons, they were the largest ships in the Navy until the introduction of the USS Gerald R. Ford in 2017. Powered by two A4W pressurized water reactors, each Nimitz-class carrier can reach speeds over 30 knots and generate around 260,000 shaft horsepower. The nuclear reactors allow the ships to operate for more than 20 years without refueling and provide a projected service life of over 50 years. Each carrier was built by Newport News Shipbuilding Company, with the USS Nimitz commissioned on May 3, 1975, and the USS George H.W. Bush, the final ship of the class, commissioned on January 10, 2009. These were the top 10 biggest military vehicles in the world. From colossal tanks to massive aircraft carriers, these machines represent the pinnacle of military engineering and power all over the world. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things military and more. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring and keep staying curious.